the NFL ratings are down now, the television ratings. First of all, they skyrocketed so high, even if they're down, they're still probably better than, than everybody else's. But, I mean, how do we really know that the ratings are up or whether they're down? I don't know how they even rate TV anymore, though. The, so many ways you can watch. You know, the streaming and PC and DVR and, and tablets and all that. I, I don't even know how, you know how they keep track of that stuff, but they do, I guess, and the whole world goes by that. And millions of dollars, millions and millions and millions of dollars hinge on those Nielsen Arbitron ratings or whatever it is they are anymore. But, you know, the talk now, at least in the last couple of weeks, is that <clears throat> the NFL ratings are down 20%, and I think I heard a couple of days ago they were down 29%. And, of course, if you see that the ratings are down in the NFL, everybody has an idea and an opinion on why they're down, and, and so do I. You know, I'm no different than anyone else, the same schmuck as everyone else with this big opinion. But I'll say this, that my opinion I haven't heard yet. You know, and I really believe this is what it is. You know, and people use things like, well, it's oversaturated. There's so much football, you know, to watch. And there is, and that's fine, but people are still going to watch it, you know, no matter what. You know, and, and, and they talk about some clown who, who, who kneels during the national anthem or doesn't stand during the national anthem. So they talk about that. You know, they talk about there's no big NFL heroes anymore and that kind of thing. And, 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 and they talk about, uh, you know, the, 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 the domestic violence and the off-the-field problems the NFL has. And that's why the NFL, <laughs> it's none of that. It's none of that because too much hinges on watching an NFL game, meaning fantasy football. That's it. You know, do you think any of the reasons I mentioned a couple of minutes ago were going to stop some guy from watching his team when he's got one player left on a Monday night, watch some lousy Tennessee Jacksonville game? You know, no, it's not going to stop him if he's got, say, you know, Kenny Britt for the Tennessee Titans and he needs 12 points. He's going to watch it. And that's the whole crux of the uplifting and the huge ratings of the NFL is fantasy football. I heard over 100 million people are playing fantasy football right now, and it's because all the networks and, not the networks, but all the uh, software people have made the game so easy to play now. It's tabulated so easily now, as opposed to in the day when you had some guy with a pencil, you know, chalking stuff up, and then people would grumble and bitch about his scoring and all that kind of thing. But now it's so easy, you can watch it happen as it happens, and so fantasy football is probably the big reason why the NFL is so incredibly popular. 40% of NFL players are now playing NFL football. I can see the day where big money comes into the NFL, big, big money, Black Sox. I can see that coming down the road. But this is what annoys me the most about watching the NFL, but I'll always watch it because i got to find out how my fantasy guys do. And so I watch every game just like every, <laughs> everybody else. You know, it's a couple of minutes before the Packers game, and they're playing the Redskins, and who cares about that game? Me, because I have Devontae Adams, and I need 15 points. But it's not the four reasons that I mentioned a few minutes ago. It's the fact that since the NFL is run by the television networks, <clears throat> the television networks have high ratings, so they run many, many, many commercials. They take many, many commercial breaks. They take them whenever they like. And it's so irritating. It really is. I mean, just think about it. First of all, you have a, a kickoff. You know, the first play of the game is exciting. It's not even a play. And then you've got to go back for 15 units of commercials before you get back to a play. You know, and it's like that, and then you have these two-minute warnings and these, these, which you don't need, by the way, you don't need the two-minute warnings. And they have these, you know, these injury kind of timeouts, and they have these coaches' challenges, and, and they've got these replays, and the guys sit underneath the hood for a while, and every time they do any one of those things I talk about, you can go to a break and take 15 units. You know, they take them, seems like it's endless. You know, and the half times are the worst. I counted the other day on Fox, I think, they came back with one minute of highlights, one minute. You know, and 20 straight units commercials before they came back to the NFL. And then the, you sit through the halftime thing, and it's 20 units and nothing but commercials and flop talking heads. You know, and then the first thing that happens in the second half is a kickoff. <laughs> you know, you got to go back for 15 more units. So there's entirely too many commercial breaks, and you can take them whenever you like. There's too many opportunities for them, and the networks take them. That's what's beautiful about baseball. Is, I mean, if a team had a 15-run inning, there would be no interruptions for that. You know, it goes until it goes, until it's over. And same with kind of hockey. You know, you take a break one in between each period in the middle of each of the three periods or something. It seems real continuous. Soccer is the best out of all of them, boom, all the way through. You know, and, and even college basketball is great because they have two halves. You know, and that's it. And they don't take that many timeouts for it. Of course, they have too many in college basketball. You don't need that many. But So that's it. That's my opinion. And nobody talks about it that much. You know, it's, it's what's irritating if I were to never, ever watch the NFL, which will never happen because of my fantasy football teams, it would be because I just can't sit through the commercials. There are too many. Two plays, three plays, 15 more commercials.
It's like that. God. And the thing that kills me is that I noticed this the other day, I think, maybe I'm just going crazy and I probably am. It's like you, you can DVR it, you know, and, and zoom past the commercials, but uh, you might spend more time doing this with an irritating remote that works sometimes. You spend more time doing that than watching football plays. I thought, God, I'm doing this more than I'm sitting down with us. And you got to watch it live. You can't watch sports uh, on a DVR or pre record it because that makes it highlights, you know, or a recap that you'd watch on the nightly news, which nobody watches. You got sports was made to, to, to happen live and you got to watch it live. That's it. <clears throat> so, what do you say? I mean, if the NFL ratings are down, I'm going to say this it's because the networks take way too many commercial breaks and they're too long.